Hi all, um, welcome to my next episode. Um, I'm still in the early parts of the game, uh, obviously, but <laughs> what I mean with that is that money is still coming quite slowly. Uh, let's just unpause here. And what I'm going to try and do today, run a double speed, is to meet these uh, businesses. Uh, there's an iron ore business, the demands of the business businesses. There's an iron ore business that popped up there. And then also uh, a wood business that popped up there. So both of them should be relatively easy to supply. Um, this one I can do quickly. So let's just see what's the easiest way I can do that. And then uh, I'm also going to go through my other businesses and just make sure that their demands are met. And that will involve uh, to meet all the demands and so forth will uh, involve um, kind of building a few uh, tracks or uh, expanding on my track a bit and then um, hopefully we can get to some research at the end of the episode <laughs> um, so let's see how that goes first we'll build the station oops where's the roads there and whoa we just want to build a normal station i'm not going to build a i guess i can put a station no that road is too busy it's going to get too busy so i'm just going to build a station on the side like that um for that business oops almost made a mistake oftentimes i've done that <laughs> when it costs way too much money okay pull the road around like that that should work nicely so let's go to garage buy a couple of vehicles Let's run a triple speed. This or quadruple speed. I don't know what it is. The fastest speed. I think it's four times. Okay, so we buy one vehicle. Set it up. Add stop there. I think I'm probably going to have to build another mine. Or what do you call it? Lumber mill. Unload. There we go. Get that vehicle going save it westonia north yeah um, lots of things that want um, more advanced products but i'm just unfortunately not there yet okay let's build another vehicle buy another vehicle good okay let's make sure that we have enough wood today Yes, the sawmill is just about keeping up, but I think um, let's just build another one. Like that. Build on suitable deposit. We try and go as close as possible. Not enough money. Hopefully soon we won't see that anymore. <laughs> Too close. One up. Okay, there we go. Good. So that should do the thing for us. And now let's just see the businesses that are going. They are getting enough wood. So that one's been going for a while. I think I took one vehicle away there. So we should buy another one. Um, money should be there soon. Coming in much quicker now. I'm going to try now not to increase my loan anymore just so that I can um, get to the point where I can pay it back I know the interest is not a lot but I guess just a, a principal thing um, throwing away money for nothing I'm very grateful for the loan but yeah there's better ways of going about it what will it cost now 36 oh, price going up the whole time And yeah, in the beginning of the game, you end up with lots of vehicles. Uh, but then later on, when you can upgrade vehicles and so forth, then they come down again. So it's one of those uh, tricky things in the game. But I'll, I might have to uh, increase that station's um, number of loading lanes. I guess this one, 
we're not gonna meet the demand so yeah let's do two more vehicles there as well um okay getting close to the price 36 yeah money is coming in much quicker now it's nice okay and we'll wait for one more uh wood beam still haven't researched that we'll just make sure that we meet our demands that we have now i guess after this one then we'll go look at that iron ore mine for that i just need to uh, let the train go to that station as well the iron ore train and i need to add a few wagons to the iron ore train uh, double it up i think i can have seven uh, wagons carriages uh, for my length of train and then later for the bigger um, advanced trains I can have six or maybe it's other way around anyways we'll, we'll find out soon enough um, I don't have a good memory for things like that but uh, uh, I'll figure it out quickly enough again okay where's the garage close it up and almost there okay there we go so lots happening here um that one i wonder if we have enough happening there not really i guess by the time the train comes then there will be more but probably not enough because i think it's only two vehicles yeah let's do one more at least there and then we'll go to that iron ore uh, situation okay and i'll have to uh, mirror that on the other side <laughs> else uh, probably gonna need one less vehicle there because it needs to travel much shorter uh, between that station and uh, and uh, the business but yeah let's add one more year again uh, i think four is just about sweet spot the moment for the businesses okay there we go so let's move that way so here we need to add how many do we have i think it's only two huh yeah that one didn't have enough money uh, uh um, wood already that uh second vehicle we we'll, might have to increase the train stacks as well how many do they do only eight eight sixteen twenty four yeah that's not a lot probably gonna have to do more but they did take everything there okay we'll come back to that just now let's just let's let it run a bit and then we'll see how it turns out so yeah we need to supply that iron ore let's see if this can oh just can't do huh so what can i do oh yes with this <laughs> Of course, there is. I uh, just wanted to say, huh? Wasn't it unload coal, but not iron ore? But it's there's a station. So let's build a warehouse. Uh, probably a small warehouse will be fine for now. Um, I try to not do things too big in the beginning just because I know I'm going to upgrade it later in the game. I guess that's the advantage of having played the game a few times. Okay. I'm going to save this business. Yeah, I have more than enough time. Iron ore. Now, let's just think how I'm going to do it. Uh, because this needs to be a good solution. For the train track. So it's going to go straight from the iron ore mine. Yeah, just going to run through. There. Like the coal train. And then... It needs to go right at the station there, uh, right towards that station. So this will probably be my first intersection. So how are we going to do it? Um, that particular, so that's the track going towards that side. And the one we want to come back is going to be on this side. So let's double that bit of track up. Um, how do we have it now? So there's the coal. Just 
I just remind myself I'm from South Africa. No, I don't need a reminder of that. <laughs> uh, just remind myself that I do have my lane on the left hand side. Okay, so we'll do that on the left hand side and we'll keep this one on the left hand side as well. The, the other one then we'll have to do on the right hand side, of course. There's now the left hand side. I'm just gonna double this bit up for now. Like that. Why am I struggling to do that? Goodness. Okay, anyways, I'm not gonna buff too much about it. Just wanted to go like that. Okay, it's not working. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Then we want it to go all the way like that. Bring it around. Can bring it closer. Yeah, let's bring it closer. Can't go class closer than that, else uh, the game sees it as one block. And then we'll do this as the in. The other one is the out. Okay, we'll just kink it like that. Good. Now we'll just have to do our signaling. Okay, as soon as we put the signal in, the train will start behaving accordingly. Start behave accordingly, I mean. The okay, game is saving. Or is it? No, not. I'm just confusing myself. Okay, there we go. Out. Go out. Okay, good. Now we want to put another train. Oops, the speed went down to one again. We want this track to split off. Um, that's going to continue straight there. And it's going to split off here to the left. That. Okay, good. Now it's saving. Might as well do the signaling. A little bit of a short gap between those two, but I'll, I'll deal with that later. Uh, for now, I'm just going to keep it as is. Um, we'll see now. Maybe I'll, I'll do something about it. Okay, so that one. In straight there. And we can just join it up there. Oops, just need to get that line. That. Okay. Oops, wrong button again. <laughs> or wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Now we can delete that a little bit. Good. So now we have our nice loop going. Now we just need to turn around um, for that train to get into the station. So we'll, we'll do that now as well. Else it's going to go all the way to the other station. Yes, so that's not what we want. But for now, I'm just going to um, get the train to go drop iron or off there, that business. Um, and then we'll deal with it. Come on, train. Running away from me. Okay, so let's edit it. Okay, add stop there again. Load. Add stop. There. Unload. And we'll rename it iron ore to and lose our heads north east. Okay, good. Um now we need to build the station. Now it would have been handy to have a, a um a bigger station there. 
it's going to pause for now. I just want to make sure my train. Um, well, we'll see if, if they're going to get stuck. Uh, um, I'm just going to continue. I'll put this station. Um, yes, put, put it there. Probably only going to need one vehicle because one of those uh, situations where it's very close to the um, to the other station. Okay, now yes, that's what we're busy working at. Okay, and then we buy a vehicle. Okay. Make it iron ore. Bye. There, load. And there we go. There's our iron ore train. Unload. One should be fine. Iron ore to Nusa Head Southeast. Okay, there we go. That should be enough for that business. And then let me just go over the strain track and make sure everything is as it should be. Um, so that we don't run into problems. Okay, so for that, we split off there. Yeah. And that one goes that way. There we go. Um, that should be... That should suffice. And... Um, the iron ore train we need to make that it <laughs> doesn't have to go all the way to the coal station before it um, can go so I need to do a turnaround for that as well um, so let's see how we're gonna do that let the track off here and let's do a tunnel There we go. Don't want it too close to the to the other one. So we need a train space in between them, um, just so that it doesn't block up too quickly. Okay, that should solve our problem for us. For that poor train not to go all the way around. And the coal train is going to go left. The iron ore train is going to, or the coal, uh, yeah, the iron ore train is going to go left and the coal train is going to go right. That should work for us. Okay. Um, at the moment, my signal, signaling is still a bit sparse, but I'll, I'll work on it as I, as I develop my network. Um, sort of trying to save money. So now we need a turn around here. This way to do that is just also to do use the tunnel. Just find a good spot for that. Don't want it too far away, uh, but I also don't want to. Um, yeah, the area here is very uneven. Okay, I guess I'll have to make it with this flat the first time. Let's do it here. Split it off, it come around. Okay, hopefully that's far enough. Oh no. Let's let's first do the tunnel. Then we'll then we'll okay, is that good enough? No. Nope. Try again. Hmm. Maybe um oh wait. I'm confusing myself. Tunnels need to be like that. Okay, there we go. Going to be a bit awkward, but that's okay. Okay. In this one, we just connect up. Okay, good. 
will all make sense soon. This is one of the quirks of the game. The train is already liking that idea. I must just signal it um, so that he can do his job better. Okay, signal. Signal that way. Tips all. Let's go. I'll have to see what's going on there. Then... My signal is a bit, little bit close, but I'll, I'll fix that up as well later. Okay, so that's working. Nice turn around there. Not the prettiest thing ever, but yeah, you'll soon see that my train networks are never pretty. <laughs> that's just the way it is. But uh, they work. Okay, so iron ore train is doing its thing. Iron bar, we have to do that research. So, what is next? Next, we want to make sure all our businesses are getting what they need. I think I need to increase the length of my iron ore train to its full length, which will be seven, seven um, carriages. Let's just see if it does its turnaround thing now. Okay, wait nicely for the other train, and the signaling is working fine. Because it's uh, both trains are doing what they need to. And then let's just pause the train. Not pause the train. Um, pause the game. <laughs> there. Send the train to the depot. Okay, good. Unpause. Go. Okay, go to the depot. And we're going to add a few wagons there. Carriages. Is it the same thing? I'm not sure. I need to all shift in beforehand then you can select more than one okay good yeah as well I'll shift in and then you can run all the carriages the same fly changes there we go our train should now have more than enough um yes iron ore for both sides and we want to do the same with our wood train. We, we can just as well. So I'll wait for the coal train to come by and then I'll put that in the depot as well. The trains do teleport to the depot, but the closer you have it um, to the depot, the quicker it gets in there. Like that, very quick. Okay, let's just add more carriages, three more. Hold in shift. In one, two, three. Good. Go. All three. Okay. Apply. I didn't even check if I had enough money, but apparently I did. So good. Okay. Now we just want to do the last train. Where is it now? Okay, that's my iron ore train. Probably add another... Um, um, oh, my trains can go quite a bit longer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can probably do 9. Okay, but for now, that's fine. Let's just send this one to the depot. Okay, in the depot, and I probably don't have mo enough money to straight away add the carriages, but let's just add nine. Uh, what's it? Five more. And I must make doubly sure that it's the right length, because if it's just too long, it's probably going to be eight, but yeah. Um, let's just wait for money. Said I'm not going to take another loan, but if it's available now, I'm just going to do it. Yeah. Or <laughs> pay it back later. Hey, that's the problem with easy money. You just take it when you can. Okay, now that train's probably too long. No, it's perfect length. One more will be too long. Okay, so now we'll try and balance things out quickly. 
Okay, so wooden plank, spitty. I'm not going to try and do that now. Add iron ore. Uh, delivered 40. Demand is more. So how many vehicles do I have all floating there? Four. That should be enough. It's probably just because there weren't enough iron ore delivered. Let's see. Um... Yeah, that's looking better. 46, I probably will benefit from adding that ex those extra carriages to it. So let's just do it. There. Okay. Go to the depot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 5, 6, 7. And make 9. This is now seven. Oh uh, no. Oh wait, I can look at the length. Uh, <laughs> that's the easy part. 126. I think if I add one more, it will be too long. Yes. So, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So at this stage of the game, nine carriages is the sweet spot. Okay, there we go, buddy. So do your thing. Gold train. Need to make that longer as well. Did I do nine now? I can't remember. My brain is not good for these kind of things. Yes. 126 meters. Okay. Signaling is working very well for that piece. Because the trains are... Not waiting for each other um, have it the right length that's what you want so we'll, we'll get to the signaling for the other parts as well um okay so let's just make sure that this one's got enough uh, we need to do two more yes perfect okay there we go so now our trains are optimized. Now we must make sure our mines have enough money. So time goes quickly, I see. So I'm almost at the end of my, what I want to do per episode. <laughs> it goes so quickly, but yeah. Okay, so this uh, iron ore mine is still fine. Let's just see if the train comes now. The wood definitely need more storage, but it's fine. I'm not going to bother too much about that at this stage. The iron ore train as well has got more than enough. So all those things will balance out later on as the game carries on. At this stage, I'm not too worried about it. I just make sure that the trains run and do their thing. And the wood as well. Um, yeah, as we saw... Um, but not enough trucks here for doing uh, what we need so probably need to add a few delivered 54 demand 170 sure it's okay so we can increase it quite a bit there so how many can we add uh, let's add three more one two almost enough money these dose along okay that should be efficient and it optimize things a bit more might have to balance out on the other side um how's the iron ore doing delivered 95 to 105 so we probably need another vehicle there as well yeah i thought it's close but yeah uh, these initial uh, vehicles are so small okay here we go um 9555 uh, yeah we can push three well, let's do one more might 
might push it over um which is bad as well if you're over supply okay so where where are we now so we're not going to get to re research in this one uh but at least we got quite a few businesses optimized live at 45. i wonder where the the bottleneck is here ah it's just not enough delivered um i probably need another warehouse so let's demolish that one and build a bigger one hope i have enough money also huh? regret that large warehouse okay there you go not enough money <laughs> very close okay so the iron ore one probably same situation oh yeah it's the same situation let's do the same year what is the situation 58 oh it's full oh the iron ore mine was just there um so let's build a big warehouse and we'll just now replace the other one maybe i need another vehicle as well for each one so we'll see now we're just keeping a, a eye on this for a little bit okay you iron all day just before the iron ore train is going to come. Yeah, I need more vehicles there for sure. Oh, why is the do, train doing that? Oh, because I haven't put a road through to that side. <laughs> I'll have to do that. I'll do that now. A track, I mean. Okay, so just before the iron train drops off, I'm going to demolish the other um, warehouse there definitely need more uh, vehicle one vehicle each let's do that add a um pick a vehicle that one yes go then call vehicle as well is it now there pick a vehicle you can go and just before it delivers how did that work? The train hasn't even stopped and it started offloading already. That was very strange, but anyways. Not gonna test that further. Okay. Maybe that warehouse is too close. That seems to be the problem. Oh no. <laughs> uh it seems the warehouse is also in range of that business. So the business picks it up from the warehouse and drops it off at the warehouse again that's unfortunate um that's the problem with it being so close to each other yeah so we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to move it again uh so i'll wait for enough money which should be soon now okay let's put it there and <laughs> make it iron ore very strange but yeah at least uh I figured out what the story was. Okay, so the last thing I'll do then tonight is just demolish that other warehouse. Um, the one that's busy being drained now. And then I'll just build a loop for the train to, to go right. The, the coal train, I mean. And I'll soon double up the track as well. Probably first thing in the next episode is I'll start some research and then I'll double up the track. Yeah, where are you now? Iron ore train. There you go.
Okay, I need some more signaling there. We'll get to it. Okay, so let's demolish that one. And good. Okay, that's good. And let's just see. Ah, oh, stone. Yeah, and I'm not anywhere close to opening up a region. So let's see how we're going to do this. I need to have a track that goes underneath the, the track here. Let's just build a, a tunnel. Doesn't matter where it is, as long as it is. Okay, there, and then I wanted to join up with the other track, not too close to this one, uh, just so the trains don't hold each other up. That should be far enough. Okay, and let's do our signaling. Put one in there, that should be fine. Another signal there, and another signal there. Okay, good. Then, all we need to do is we split it off from. Um, I'm going to double that track up now, so I'll just use that as the split, split point. Do it like that. A little bit close. Make that turn, so I'll just. Just bring it out and loop it around like that. Okay, good. Split it off, split it off, and those two are close, but I'm soon going to double the track up so that shouldn't be an, an issue. Let's make use of the. Okay, I said that was the last thing. But let me quickly fix the signaling here before I. I mess things up later on we do that and after the uh, when it gets to a bridge you have to it stops there and then do that and I want to put a signal single signal in there right close okay and then let's do the doubling up oh, we don't need to there it's close enough but I'll just put a signal in there here it's not doubling up the signaling here we go put a signal single signal there okay and that's all very close but that's okay okay that is good and I don't want to put signals on there now um, because that will just mess things up and let's just signal this little bit there double signaling ah, not double signaling directly space signaling <laughs> I try <laughs> mess things up a little bit okay there we go in that way Correctly space signaling, at least it remembers. If we just put that there, it goes all the way to there. Yeah, perfect. Now our signal is correct there. So the trains should flow nicely. Just for a quick last overview before we head off, trains are running nicely. Yeah, so thanks uh, for watching. Um, next episode, we'll certainly start with some research and uh, do some final optimization. And I'll also double that track there for the stone. Um, ah, not for the stone, for the coal. Ah, let's just quickly upgrade our, our headquarters. There we go. That's a nice way to end an episode. Thank you all and... See you next time.